Hello guys, um, Ben Cross here again with another quick video. Um, excuse me if I look groggy, I've just woken up. It's um, almost 20 past 3 but I'm on doing night shifts this week and it's horrible. But um, I thought I'd do a quick video because um, in some of the co uh, in a comment that somebody left, uh, Dave Dave Pugh left, he on my last video, he asked me um, what airbrush I used so I thought I'd show him. It is uh, this, the Iwata Neo airbrush, the gravity fed one, 3.5 needle. So I'm going to do a quick, um, as well as show you my airbrush that I use, I'm going to do a strip down and reassemble. Because when I got this, I couldn't find any on YouTube and uh, I was really nervous about taking it down. So I only, I've only had it three months. Um, Got it at Telford last year, like I said, and uh, yeah, so I'll show you how I strip it down to clean it, and then how I strip it down fully to put it in the ultrasonic cleaner. I've only done that once, because I don't want to be doing that too often, but to give it a nice thorough clean inside, so yes, yeah, so that's what I'm going to do today. Before I start that, nice cup of tea, uh, before I do that, I just want to say thank you so much for all the uh, all the views, all the subscriptions, and all the likes. Uh, my first video is all, as we speak almost at a hundred views. Now I know to some of you guys, hundred views is nothing, and some of your videos deserve a lot more than a hundred views. Um, but for me, uh, for anybody, anybody been doing this for a couple of days, it is staggering. I am really touched. So yeah, brilliant. Uh, it's making me really feel good about myself. I'm really enjoying this. I didn't I didn't know if I would enjoy this YouTube side of the hobby. I love my modelling and uh, I thought that'd, that'd be me, that'd do me, but so far really really enjoying this YouTube like this YouTube community, being a part of it. It's really cool. So yeah, without further ado, we'll do a quick strip down of the Iwata Neo. Thank you. Welcome back guys, um, yeah, here we go. This is how I strip down and clean my Iwata Neo. So, take it out of the box. Don't need the colour cap for this. I don't use that anyway, to be fair. Put that out of the way. So first thing that I'd do, take off the colour cup. Simple unscrew. Put that to one side. Now pull the trigger back on the nozzle. This puts the needle out of harm's way for when we unscrew the nozzle tip and then unscrew this. Not quite sure what this is called. <laughs> Technical term. Take that off. There we go. And now that is as far as I would go is if I was just giving this a quick clean. We can get to the tip of the needle, we can get nicely into there, so we can clean all of that, get all the gunk out of there. This brush is a bit of a pain to clean. It's a bit tricky to clean. It sprays beautifully. I mean, I'm not going to do a review on this because there's lots of reviews on the Neo out there, but I've not seen any strip downs. So, so far we've taken off the colour cup, needle tip and the nozzle protector these aren't the correct terms, I do apologise now simply unscrew the back here Ooh, he says simply unscrew that put that to one side and now we can see the chuck, the chuck nut here I like to hold this bit with my fingers here if you can see that, I like to hold this bit with my fingers while I unscrew, just a bit of positive bit of pressure. Unscrew the nut there. Put that down. And now very gently we can pull back the needle. And as you can see the needle is now out. Put that down. And that should be spotless because I uh, cleaned this the other day and lubed it up as well. I think lube is very important. Next, we can unscrew this main, the, this part here. That's as far as you'd need to go just to give it a nice clean. There, you could clean out your colour cup, you could clean the tip here. 
you can clean your needle, nice bit of whatever cleaner that you like to use. I like using the Ultimate Ultimate Modeling Products cleaner. It works an absolute treat. I use their thinner as well. Really good, really good. But you could use whatever you wanted at this stage. Cotton buds or a brush to get in there, clean it all nice. Or the specific ones that you can buy from Amazon or eBay, whatever. Now we go a bit further into our disassembly. Unscrew this, unscrew this part here now. So just unscrew this, keep going. Keep going, just unscrewing as you would do counterclockwise. And then you'll see this piece come off. Place that down. Then we have the spring there. And now we have our pullback lever piece. I mean, what I like about this is that this is all one piece here, so you've not got to worry about this little bit falling off. Very helpful. And pull out your trigger, me trigger mechanism. And finally, just unscrew the air valve down the bottom. There we go. And that is unassembled now. The last piece we have to do, and the quite the 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 tricky one, the one that I don't like doing. I know Paul from uh, ISM managed to break this needle tip here, and it is tricky. So you've got to take your spanner that they provide for you, very carefully find where it locates, and a little turn ooh, counterclockwise, just so you can feel it loosen. And now, ever so gently, with your fingers, unscrew it. Mine is all lubed up because I lubed it all up the other day. So I'll have to use the spanner a bit more. And there we go. Look how teeny tiny that is. If I can put that on my finger, Ooh. maybe not on my finger, on my hand there. Exceedingly small and fragile. And there we go. That is it completely assembled. Now, what I would do now is I'd place this part, the colour cup, the needle, the nozzle tip, and the guard and the other cup thing in an ultrasonic cleaner with some um, just cheap home cleaner stuff, some green stuff, whatever you want to use and uh, set that off because that now is completely dissembled as far as you would ever need to go and it's not as scary as I thought it would have been I think we've got here a grand total of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12 parts so not too bad at all Excuse me. Right, so now we'll reassemble it. So take your main body, and the first thing that I like to do is put this, put the little nozzle tip back on because this is the worst part. So I like to get this out of the way. So very carefully, just to do this so you guys can see it, screw that back on just so it's finger tight on there. Can you guys see that? Then taking your spanner, just pinch it ooh, till you feel just the littlest bit of resistance. You've really not got to over tighten this. You over tighten this, you'll thread it, and it's knackered. And I, I hear they're fifteen pounds to replace. So you've got the needle tip back in now. You can put your spanner away and breathe a big sigh of relief because that is the hard bit done. Next, I like to what do I like to do next? Put the old uh, air valve back on and that just screws in screw that on until you feel it nice and tight trick with these things is never to over tighten anything then seat your trigger back in now this trigger can only go one way if I can get this in shot for you it can only go that way so we just place that in there so it's sat on top and you push that there Next comes your guide pulley back thing with the little wiggly bit 
up on top like that. So that goes in like so. Just rest it on there and you can see that it's come through to touch up here. Then spring over the top of that and now the main body. Just push that over and start to screw that back into the body itself. And again, wait till you feel it tighten and then give it a few squeaks, a few turns back because that is actually a little um, to loosen or to tighten up how much pressure you feel when you pull the trigger back. After that, it's time to pop your needle through. This is the last stage where something might go horribly wrong. Just line it up and it should slide through the trigger mechanism and then we'll see it pop out just nice there. Can you guys see that? It's popped out just nice there and it will stop. It can't go any further than where it needs to be. After that, take your chucking nut, slide that on and tighten that up. Again, I like to hold this bit just to give it a bit of support while you're squeezing that on. Tighten that up. Just check that you're rocking and rolling because when you pull back you should see the needle go in and out. Sometimes if you lube up too much like I did the chucking nut struggles to grip the needle and won't pull you back. And then you can put your end bit over here. Tighten that up. Now to put the reservoir I think this might actually be called and this back. Remember, don't just try and put this over because you've got a good chance of knackering your needle. So pull back, take the needle out of the way, screw it on, see the needles come back through, and again pull back, put that on, and now the needle will be safely in there. Not sure if we'll be able to pick that up. And lastly, colour cap, colour cup even, back on. And there we have it. A dissembled and reassembled Iwata Neo. Hope that helps guys. Thank you very much for watching. Well I hope you found that uh, helpful. Um, I know when I first got mine I was really nervous about taking it apart. I was like, Phew. spent £40 on my airbrush. Don't want to take it all apart and not be able to put it back together. But after you've done it once it becomes a lot less scary so hopefully that might, if anyone's got the old eye water near, hope that might help them get over that. Um, that's it for this video, next video we will be looking at the stash, that was meant to be this video but I really wanted to put that out there because I know that I'd have benefited from that if it had been there when I first got that airbrush. So yeah, thanks for watching, stay tuned for looking through the stash, uh, please rate, comment, like and subscribe if you did like it. Um, and I'll see you next time. Bye.